Because, say the scientists who do this, life has a rough formula, and we know that formula. So this is your place? This is it. What's it called? This is DNA 2.0. We make DNA. You make DNA? We make DNA. The same DNA that builds up living creatures? Exactly, yes. Exactly? Do you mean exactly? I mean exactly. And if you wanted to order some DNA for, say, an experiment, a company like Jeremy Minchel's could custom make it for you. In other words, it's kind of like DNA to go. <laughs> to go. DNA being, of course, the recipe for living creatures built from chemical ingredients abbreviated A, C, T, and G. So if I'm a creature, let's suppose I'm a very small creature. I'm not going to be anything immodest like a cat or a mouse. But I'm just a little itty-bitty thing. And you can spell me C-C-C-T-T-T-G-G-G. -G -G. Do you have all those chemicals here? Absolutely, and we could make you. A bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't mean that literally, but right away I could tell that Jeremy and I don't look at life the same way. What do you see? When I look at, uh, let's say, jellyfish, I see a weird, pulsing, hairy creature. When he looks at the same thing, at least during business hours, he sees a blueprint, a chemical formula. Those let us carry all of the information that makes us. And while we've known for a while how to read DNA recipes, even cut and splice genetic engineering, now at companies like Jeremy's, they can write recipes, create genes from scratch that never existed. So if I call you up on the phone and say, can you make me something that would, in a living creature, make it glow green, you'd know what I need? Exactly. We would know, we would know just what you need. This, for example, is a bottle of tea, standing for thymine. Can I have your hand? And this is what it looks like. So here we go. It's just powder. It's just powder. Is this in any way alive? This is in no way alive. So this is just dust? Just dust. Not alive. So Jeremy mixes this dust with some liquid chemicals, still not alive, and hooks them all up to this machine. So now it's a solution in all now these it's things. It's got the A's, C's, and T's in bottles tucked in here, and you just type in whatever recipe you want, and the machine pumps out the letters of life. So it'll go C and C and C and T and T and T. That's right. The machine makes dozens of strands of letters, and then some other machines mix them all together, and automatically, they self-assemble. They self-organize. In That's the right, right order. In the right order. Jeremy plugs the completed gene into bacteria, and look at this. The bacteria glow. Our instructions were followed, and it's making green glow. So for about 900 bucks, starting literally with chemical dust, we have just made not quite life, but a gene. A gene that never existed before. Then will you mail me the, the genes? That's exactly what we'll do. So all this is just going around through the mail all the time. That's right. That's what you say. Yeah. This is all new to me.